Hello and welcome back to Electronic 3. We're here at the Sega, I almost said Sega Sammy, because Sega and Sammy were partners, and I suppose they still are. However, now it's uh, Sega, Sega Atlas. I, I guess that's what they call themselves, because nobody, nobody remembers Sammy. I, I remember Sammy. They make pachinko machines in Japan. So, we're here, and it seems as though we've found Sonic the Hedgehog's car. Now, over out in the uh, convention center, we found a pair of Sonic the Hedgehog shoes. However, they're sold out. And the people working at the Puma booth were like, you can't put the shoes on. They can't let everybody try the shoes on. First of all, you don't know what size shoe people wear. And second of all, that would, it would get gross, especially with how much everybody's been walking around. However, Sega is going to let me sit in Sonic the Hedgehog's real car in the car Sonic the Hedgehog drives to work every day. In all seriousness, I really like these Sonic racing games. I like them. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to I'm going to get in that that car. We're going to take a video of me getting my photo taken in the car. That's double camera action. Like a Microsoft Kinect that has two cameras involved. May I may I get in the car now? Yeah, here we go. Here's me. Oh, excellent. I can't wait to receive it. I will tweet it when I receive it. Oh, I will. I will. Thank you. I will tweet it when I receive it. Let's see what other games they've got, because I know they've got games. Valkyria Chronicles 4. I love these games. I've played them all. I love them. You'll see uh, this beautiful look, this beautiful, beautiful graphics. It's a game about war. It's a strategy game. It's got some sort of an action shooting feeling to it. Not really action. Feels very good to play. Now we've got this. Uh, I've got to say, the Persona games are great. And uh, they have great music. So they also have dancing games. You can dance to Persona music. You can hang out with your favorite Persona characters while pressing buttons to dance. And I absolutely love that this game right here is the game that is advertised on every E3 badge. That's just such a weird game to be advertised on every badge. If you were then told about the idea of a game being advertised on every E3 badge, you'd probably go, oh, what is it, Call of Duty? Or Battlefield? No, it's this. Although it's also sort of... This is kind of, what if Battlefield looked like this? What if there was like an anime Battlefield? Can they do that? Can you do that for a Battlefield 6, guys? Come on. Let's keep looking around. Shining Resonance Refrain? What is that? Is it a Shining game? Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise? So the Creative Assembly has announced their new Total War game, Total War Three Kingdoms. After 30-some years of the Japanese company Koei making a million billion games about the Three Kingdoms era of ancient China, finally there's a, there's a Total War set in Three Kingdoms. They've done so many other wars. I love this. Just a long-running series of strategy games, sort of similar to what Koei did, where they made many Romance of the Three Kingdoms games and then made Dynasty Warriors, and Dynasty Warriors gave them great success that continues even today. Maybe Creative Assembly should make a Three Kingdoms Total Warrior. Maybe they should try that. I think there might be one of the stars of the game uh, hanging out up here, gracing us with his presence. This guy is a big, big guy. I thought that in second century China, people were much, much shorter than people are now. However, I trust the Creative Assembly's devotion to historical accuracy. In the Dynasty Warriors games, they, they dress these guys up in like weird, modern sort of Halloween costume, Marvel movie, glittery, shiny, motorcycle gear sort of stuff, where they, their, their clothes are very anachronistic and not historically accurate. Looks like they're a little bit more devoted to what the battles were actually more like on the ground in 2nd century China. 
the Three Kingdoms period, as it is known to some people. Not the whole century, just part of it. That takes us right back around. That was the whole Sega booth. You know what? I really like that Sonic Racing game. I liked that one on the Wii U. I think what we're going to do is actually turn the camera off, and then I'm going to go play that game. I'm Tim Rogers. It's Kotaku.com. I was born stupid, however. I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Kotaku.com. E3 to 018.